So today we are going to make this super cute card from an SVG and I'll show you step by step at how to make this card. Now before we get started, my name is Lisa and welcome to my crafting channel. If it is the first time you're watching me, make sure it is not the last. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Let's get started. This super cute SVG is in my Etsy store so we're just going to jump over to Etsy. And I'll pop a link in the description box below. Next, we're going to add to basket, select our payment method and proceed to checkout. Check the details and submit our order. Wait a moment until we get to the thank you screen, which will have a view digital downloads button. Then we will download our files one by one. And now I'm going to head over to Cricut Design Space. We're going to go to new project. And we are going to go to settings. And if because I'm working with a Cricut Joy branded product, it is set up in inches. So I'm going to make sure that my units are set to Imperial. And I do flick to metrics when I'm working in my metric projects. If you're looking for my metric projects, check out one of my other playlists in the link below. And we're going to press done. Now from here, we're going to press upload. And we're going to upload image. I'm going to drag and drop the SVG I got from Etsy. Now you can also use PNG files. On this screen here, it will ask you if you want to do print and cut or cut. If you're working with Cricut Joy, you always select cut image. Now here it's asking for an image name and tags. The tags helps you find this image when you're searching later on. And then we press upload. Now I'm going to select the image and add to canvas. From here, what I'm going to do is I am going to unlock this square and I'm going to check that my insert size of this image is exactly four inches by 5.25 inches. I'm not going to accept any tolerance, I prefer the complete accuracy here. Now from here, I'm going to press make it. This is on the assumption that I have a pre-cut insert. If you do need instructions on how to make an insert for the card, check out a link in the description box below. So from here, we're going to load all of our materials for this project. And we've got the one mat and it's on a card mat. So we're going to press done. Now from here, it's going to ask us to select the material size and we are going to use the Cricut Joy branded cards. So we're going to select the correct size and you'll see we can't actually move our image around anymore, which is exactly perfect. If it doesn't allow you to select the smaller size, go back and just type over those dimensions again and see how you go. If not, just go with the bigger one and just make sure it's in the top left hand corner. Now we're going to press continue. Before I press continue, you want to make sure that your machine is turned on. You plug it in. Make sure it makes all the correct noises and that that light is flashing. I'm also going to find my mats. I've got one lovely card mat here. Now the first card mat it was saying was the card. So we're going to take off our dust cover. We're going to pop our card. Now my other trick here is you've got to make sure that your card lines up with that blue line. So when you're ready, you want to avoid as many finger oils as you can on this card mat too. I like to use my scraping tool and give it a good stick to that card mat without touching it. My first card mat got lost to finger oils and scraping and all sorts of rubbish. And now it's asking me to connect to my machine. Now today I'm using my Cricut Joy branded pack. So we're going to go to insert card. With my Cricut branded products, I find the pressure of default works perfectly. You might need to play around and practice a little bit to work out whether you need more or less or default pressure. It just depends on your machine and your card and how sharp your blade is. Let's go. 
So we're ready and we're going to press go. Now the next two steps are very important. They ask you to unload, then it'll ask to reconnect to your machine and press finish. Now if you don't complete that process, sometimes your joy can disconnect from your Bluetooth incorrectly and then have trouble reconnecting. So it's very important that we follow these steps. After weeding, pop the inset cart into the slots and that's it. A super easy, super cute card. If you liked the video today, please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up for me. If it is the first time you're watching me, make sure it is not the last. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you are amongst the first to know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching.